So why don't we call the meeting to order at 7.04 p.m. And I'm joined by members, Mr. Studo and Mr. Walner. And uh, we have a very short agenda, so I'm gonna let you take it away, Mr. Gilberto. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. Um, at my request, you were uh, uh, willing to call a meeting um, this evening, which is outside of our normal, normal meeting schedule. Um, and it is uh, re relative to an issue that is somewhat um, time sensitive. Um, so more for the record, um, the reason we're, we're here this evening <coughs> rather than waiting until Monday evening is um, because of the time sensitivity. Um, so the initial reason for my request for the board to review a disclosure uh, um, relative to a potential conflict of interest issue um, is that uh, myself, the Youth Services Department and the Parks and Recreation Department have been contacted by um, North Reading Public Schools who are looking for um, assistance and, and honestly for I think Parks and Recreation to take a, a leadership role in establishing a potential um, uh, supervisory or um, a child care type program for um, elementary age North Reading Public School students on the days in which they would be learning remotely under the school committee's um, hybrid learning plan. And my understanding is that um, the reason is because they have surveyed families and that there are some 300 families that have responded back that uh, they would be um, interested in such a, uh, a program <laughs> if one were being offered, um, again, for um, supervising children um, who would be remotely learning from their um, regular classroom, but would be doing so outside of the classroom. Um, I think the thinking was either at home or in the case of this program, potentially at a supervised location, um, probably run under the auspices of parks and recreation. Like a pod um, or something. I know some of the different yeah. places are doing pods on the virtual days that people can register and enroll. Exactly. It's a great idea, but you, you provided your disclosure and, and I, believe your disclosure is for the, because of the fact that you have school age children. I do. Um, with, so don't I, I think probably, <laughs> right, I do too, but I didn't fill out a disclosure, but you'll be trying to manage and negotiate and arrange for that. And that's why you need one. And uh, yeah, Mr. Studo raised his hand too. He's got them too. Um, so, so I, are you asking us to, to vote to approve you to be able to be involved in that? Because I think you stand similarly with most everybody else. Um, so I am, yes. I can't say that my family definitively would take advantage of such a program if it were available, but I can't say that we would not either. And so I, I felt that I wanted to be upfront with folks. My role here will not would not necessarily be running the program, but I expect I may be asked to consult on um, different issues um, relative to its arrangement if it does actually come to fruition. Probably the most significant role I would play is in my role of um, having care, custody, and control of the municipal buildings that uh, I would be asked to sign off on the use of municipal uh, meeting rooms for these pods to be in or to participate in the discussion to arrange third party rooms. So that's the role that I expect would, uh, would, would, would come up. I have given the board a couple of options. The one uh, is they can under the law determine that my, um, my interest is not so substantial as to be deemed likely to affect the integrity of services, which the town can expect from, um, from me. Um, and then the other alternative, which I proposed, is if the board does not feel comfortable with signing off in that capacity, that uh, it could uh, approve my delegating uh, responsibility for um, actions related to this to the uh, police chief public safety director. Okay, so let's just, let me just throw to my colleagues. Mr. Studo, what's your thought on it? Um, I have no issue. I think it's widespread enough. I agree that um, not only two members of this board, but I think it's just going to be something where um, a large majority of people are going to be contemplating maybe the same thing. I, I have no issue with it. So I would, uh, and I trust that Mr. Gilberto would do the right thing for the uh, town. So I would be fine with him moving forward. Okay. Mr. Walner. I have thoughts? absolutely zero hesitation for Michael to participate in the middle of the pandemic. All hands on deck. <laughs> Great. Okay. Minds at the table. Do I have a motion then? Do you um, have that, Mr. Studo? Do you? 
Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Gilberto. Madam Chair, I do apologize. Just the way the motions were structured, there is a second issue that I, I wanted to bring to the board. Oh, I'm, I apologize. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, the second issue is um, it relates to the middle high school property. And as uh, those who have been following along, including the board members know, I do own property that abuts the middle high school property. Um, there is an effort underway to potentially take advantage of a state um, safe routes to school grant opportunity to um, potentially um, I, uh, locate and construct a um, handicapped accessible pathway from the neighborhood on the west side of town, the Oakdale side of, uh, of the middle high school. Um, the locations that we're talking about in this discussion, as I understand them, are um, some 900 plus feet from my home, but they're on the same parcel that abuts um, the property. Um, from a walking distance standpoint, they're like 2,000 feet <laughs> from, from my property, but uh, I've talked with town council and Madam Chair, as you well know from your role as council in another computer, uh, community, um, the fact that the parcel abuts uh, my parcel is sufficient to trigger the potential issue with a conflict of interest law. Um, you know, there is the potential that certain segments of uh, the neighborhood in which I live could benefit depending upon the location of this um, walkway. Whether there's an, a financial benefit, I, I, it's not clear to me that it's financial in nature, but, um, and I'm not even sure that wherever the location ends up being uh, that I, I tend, tend to benefit either way. Regardless, um, my property abuts this parcel, which may be impacted. And so I may be asked to participate in discussions about the location. I may be asked to sign off on a grant application. I may be asked to, uh, I know I will be asked to participate in uh, the procurement process as well. So all of those things are such were um, my, my role to discharge my duties. I would need the board to either authorize my participation or again, uh, potentially consider delegating that responsibility to the uh, police chief public safety director. Okay. Mr. Studo, any comment? Yeah, Mr. Gilberto, how, how, many, how many other people also have a stake in that area? Uh, in the neighborhoods? Oh, uh, it's probably a couple hundred houses between the two major areas in there. Okay, maybe so more. Many, many, many kids live in that area and they already, they already cross, they already get to the school. Yeah, so again, same yeah. thing. I mean, at that point, there's just so many, it, the proportion to your benefit, it, it you know, it, it's clear that this has nothing to do with like, you know, we're, yeah, I, I'd be fine with you going ahead with that as well. That's my opinion. Mr. Walner? Yeah, just I'm just looking at the map, the two red circles. What are those two red circles? Those are the two locations that are um, that I have heard are in consideration for the location of this uh, pedestrian walkway. Um, they're both dead end streets that abut the middle high school property. Um, if you're looking at those circles, my the property that, that's in question that I own is on the opposite side of um, the parcel. There's a row of houses along um, that side. Um, the property in question is on that side. I haven't flagged it specifically, but yeah. What what road are you on actually specifically? Um, Tower Hill Road. Tower Hill Road. So it's up north in the north, oh. middle middle north of the map. You can't see the whole. Oh uh, oh, you're way away. Okay, all right. I'm good. Thank you. Yeah. And Mr. Gilberto, those those little markers, those little red dot markers, yes. are what are those? The the little ones are existing sidewalks. The big red circles are the potential locations on Lee Road and Mead Road, where um, I believe the, the the discussion is centering around. I think that the preferred location is Mead Road, as I've understood it. Mm -hmm. um, um, but um, I know that there's still some discussion happening. Okay. Yes. Okay. Any other questions, Mr. Walner? No, thank you. Mrs. Strudo, are you all set? I'm good. <clears throat> Anything else you needed to add, Mr. Gilberto? No, Madam Chair. All right. So do you have those motions, Mr. Strudo? Will you, are you, okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. So I wasn't sure, you, you know, if you would go on your way back from his car. Keep Yeah, a I know. <laughs> two minutes of peace in the in your car so <laughs> do i hear a motion <laughs> mr excuse me madam chairman madam chair of person woman <laughs> mrs many belly um, yeah, one I, of those. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I move to determine that the financial interest of the town administrator in the following items as outlined in the attached disclosure forms is not so substantial as to, to be deemed likely to affect the integrity of the services which the municipality may expect from the employee being development of a potential remote learning supervision program and middle high school pathway and to authorize the chair to sign the form. That's it. Okay, I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. All right, motion by Mr. Studo, second by Mr. Walner. Mr. Studo. Aye. Mr. Walner. Aye. Yeah, votes <laughs> aye. All right. So do you do I electronically sign those for you? Do you want me to come by tomorrow and sign them? Um, I have another document that uh, we, we would like to have you sign in person so I can have this one with it if you'd like. Um, okay. That way we'll, we'll take care of them both. Was that it for business? That is. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. <laughs> Record timing. All right. Do I have a motion? <laughs> motion to adjourn. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? All okay. right. Mr. Studo. Aye. Mr. Walner. Aye. I vote aye. Unanimous. <laughs> <Good night. laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. Bye.